my name is Lina Valiquet. I am from Hartley Valley, Ontario. I'm 47 years old, but very young at art. I'm a certified tea master and a business woman. I've been traveling since I'm very young. At age 15, I had managed to save enough money to buy a plane ticket for Hawaii. When I got to the airport, I got arrested because I was a minor traveling alone. So for punishment, my dad sent me to Italy with my mother. And when I got to Italy, I made a deal with her. I said, okay, you go with your tourist group and I will go my way. And I'll meet you at the hotel every night, no worries. She agreed. So I had an amazing time. Um, I got to really know how to travel. Um, I met extraordinary people that took me all over where most people don't go. I got to taste all the local food. It was just amazing. Um, also, I'm a person that travels uh, quite a bit because I believe that life is not a destination, life is a journey. As a matter of fact, I don't even own a car because I would rather spend the money on traveling. And when I travel, I usually stay in hostels because, um, not because I'm cheap, but because this is where you get the heartbeat of the people that travels in the, the country. You get to know where to go and where not to go and you meet extraordinary people. Uh, it's usually I'm the oldest in there, but it doesn't matter, I get along with everybody because I do travel uh, very well alone or in groups. I'm a person that's very adventurous, I'm game for anything, um, I'm very easygoing, and I'm not fussy about uh, food in any country. I really usually manage very well. Two of my top uh, travel uh, destination would be one would be Easter Island because they recently discovered that those beautiful heads are a lot more than that. There's actually an entire body that is uh, buried. Second destination would be the hot springs in Japan. Watch the macaque monkey take their bath. I really hope that you choose me. I really feel that I can do this and that I'm the person that you need because um, I think I can bring something to this and I really look forward to all of this. Just one more thing, um, to show you that I can really cope with unexpected situation, I had hired a guide when I went to Bali in the jungle and we came face to face with a Komodo dragon and he said, don't move. And I didn't and I had a good reaction, but it's only after that I found out how really dangerous the Komodo dragons are. But I really cope well with stressful situation, uh, don't have too much fear, but just enough to be safe, and that's pretty much it. So thank you very much. Okay, I hope this is the last time because I'm tired of this.